Yeah, so that led to us encouraging Aunt Shirley to come here because I knew she was plagued for a long time with a, like a decade of severe depression and very high blood sugar numbers, not responding to medicine that was making her sick, so she quit taking the medicine a year or so ago. And when she arrived here, her numbers were running 300 most of the time. And then she can tell you about her diagnosis and how that felt and what she's doing now. My number's always high, even on medication. And they kept increasing the metformin and the calimipride and insulin was next, and I said, you know it. So I just tried my best, the best way I knew how. Yesterday morning, it was 140. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and it's all from, I'm going to start crying. Thank <laughs> God. You, know, you mentioned in, in one of our calls recently that you had a major mindset shift during this time. Oh, emotionally. Well, I can't remember it. It, it, it's gone. If I was to try and put into words about the state of depression and about how, okay, how I can never do anything right, and it didn't matter what I did or how I would go about it, it always should have been some other way, some other time. I wasn't good enough. To describe those feelings, I can't because they're gone. They don't exist anymore. When I first got here, they had two steps about the size of cement blocks up into their home. I had to hang on to get one step at a time to get up into their home. Now I just go up and down them and I climb mountains and we go on two to three mile walks and it's everything physically, thanks to mentally, Amen. I can accomplish all this. Go Shirley, go Shirley. <laughs> That's so awesome. It's been a wonderful experience. That ever experienced anything like this before for all the women, even though we're all over the place, are still like a unit of one.